So first of all, hello and welcome. Um, today I'd like to show you how to clean the, the eyepieces, um, eyepiece, uh, microscope eyepieces. I have over here, I have uh, eyepieces uh, from my stereo microscope, uh, from my compound microscope, and over here that's a photo projection eyepiece um, for uh, photomicrography. Um, all of them are a little bit dirty, they have accumulated some dust, and especially these eyepieces over here, they've also accumulated quite a bit of, of, of of oil and fat from the eyelashes and um, I would like to clean these right now and I'd like to show you how I'm doing that. Um, first of all over here I have some lens paper and it may surprise you but I'm not going to use uh, the lens paper even though the instruction uh, manual states uh, that they can be used and should be used I still consider the lens paper a little bit too, too coarse and too rough and um, they, it does not have a lot, of, uh, a lot of surface area to pick up the dust so I'm um, I'm not going to use the lens paper. Um, over here I have regular tissue paper, uh, kitchen tissue paper, uh, which I'm also not going to use. Um, it's, uh, this one is definitely generally not encouraged to, to be used with optical surfaces. Um, so I'm also not going to, I'm also going to put these away. Over here I have some, some, uh, some cotton swabs and uh, I'm also not going to use these because I think that these uh, cotton swabs are packed or a little bit too densely. Um, over here, so I think uh, they're also kind of hard on the optics. So if there are some um, sand grains or dust grains, I'm a little bit worried that the cotton swab will actually scratch, uh, cause uh, compress the dust um, and the sand grains into the optical surface and thereby uh, scratch uh, the surface. So I'm also not going to use these. Um, yeah, it is possible to use them, but I generally think uh, it's. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try a different method today. Um, over here I have some regular cotton and uh, this is the thing that I'm going to use. Um, it is uh, pure cotton, and there are no additives, there is no powder or more anything uh, included here, so it's pure uh, cellulose cotton. And uh, what I'm going to do is the following, I'm going to uh, wrap some of the cotton loosely around a little wooden stick. Uh, I bought them in a supermarket, they are actually used to, uh, for barbecues, so if you I don't know, put little meat pieces and vegetable pieces on the wooden stick, you generally do that. Um, yeah, I'm going to use this to take, to wrap some cotton loosely around this wooden stick. And over here, I have to also make it like this. And what I have is I have a very, how do you say, lightly wrapped, a very loose cotton swab, um, which I can use now to, to clean um, the surfaces, the optical surfaces. Um, you also need some cleaning fluid. Um, again, here you've got to be really careful. You've got to really follow the instructions of uh, your, your manufacturer. Uh, my manufacturer recommended me to use, or recommends, uh, to use a 70% ethyl ether, diethyl ether, and uh, to 30% alcohol mixture. Not denatured alcohol. Denatured alcohol contains some additives. So um, I bought this in a drugstore. They mix it together, and that's my cleaning fluid. So. Um, do not use any cleaning fluid which is uh, basically sold for uh, cleaning eyeglasses or windshields or whatever. Um, no, you shouldn't do that. You've got, you got to be careful here because otherwise you're, there's the danger of, of damaging the, the, the coating. Um, I basically apply some of the uh, cleaning fluid to the cotton swab and I have to really make sure that not too much liquid is uh, on the cotton swab. I actually may use the tissue paper here to remove some excess liquid. Um, I do not want the liquid to uh, flow into the sides of the eyepiece. So uh, the first thing that you should do is you should carefully remove the, um, any excess dust. I usually do that by blowing on it. Not the best way to do that. You should uh, probably use some compressed air. But um, I also do not like to use that because sometimes it's not pure air. It contains some other substances. Um, I never know. You never know. So for this reason I do it the the simple way and by you carefully rotate and without applying any pressure and you remove all the grease from the eyelashes and all the excess dust no pressure should be applied and to take care that uh, no liquid cleaning fluid flows into the sides of the uh, of the eyepiece here um, in the old days I was told um, the lens kit, the, lens, the glue holding the lenses in place where I could actually be dissolved 
by the cleaning fluid, so it is really necessary to use, or it was necessary to use a highly volatile uh, cleaning fluid, which does not stay around the eyepiece too long. So you do not want to give it any time to um, dissolve or soften the lens kit. Yeah, actually, me, let's. Eyepiece extension, it's easier for me to reach the sides. Again, very loosely, only as much as necessary. As a matter of fact, I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, there's actually <laughs> a discoloration. There's a discoloration on the cotton right now. Um, okay? You may not see, be able to see that it's slightly yellowish, so all the, 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 the oil and the, the, the fat from the eyes actually uh, was collected on the cotton. So I'm going to use a different, I'm going to use a new one because I do not want to use. Uh, the same cotton swab to collect more cleaning fluid. Okay, make it a little denser. And you always use a fresh one too. Yeah, be careful. The ether is an anesthetic, so you may want to use something in a in a um, ventilated room. Remove excess liquid. And you carefully rotate. Oh, look at this dirt here. It's actually the first time in, in 11 years that I'm cleaning the eyepieces. Um, so far, it was not necessary. Um, I do not want to clean them too often because every time when you clean them, there's the danger of, of, of scratching or damaging optical surfaces. Yeah. And uh, this is it. Um, I'm not going to clean the bottom side here. Um, this is not, yeah, I, I never touched it anyway. There is no contact with, uh, with a human eye, and there is no contact with dust anyway. So I'm going to just leave it uh, like that. Um, you have to wait a little bit until the whole thing dries. Um, I am able to see, if I hold it against the light, I'm able to see some kind of a rainbow. Uh, rainbow colors here. This is actually an indication that there is still some um, lipid, uh, some fat from the eyes um, on it, which was not completely removed. Um, and here as well. But I think it's fine. Um, it's not going to disturb the, the optical impression. It's not going to disturb the. Up. It's not going to disturb the. the, the yeah. Also. Over here, I see that it's uh, not completely clean, but it's good enough. So um, I just leave it um, like this. And yeah, this was basically a short uh, introduction in how I use, how I clean my eyepieces. And uh, the next time, um, I'm going to have a look at uh, the rest of the microscope. Okay, wish you all the best.